Hello friends. This problem illustrates the concept of radial and tangential acceleration in vertical circular motion. So the problem says a pendulum bob of length L and mass M is given a horizontal velocity under root 3 GL at its bottom most position. So we have to calculate the angle of a string from the vertical when the acceleration of the bob is at 45 degree with the string. So let us try to plan this problem. So what you have been given? So you have been given a bob and if you give a velocity to this bob then it moves in a circle and finally it reaches somewhere here. So initially you have given a velocity of V0, let's call this is under root 3 ZL and after some time this ball reaches here. Let's call this angle is theta. Mass of this bob is M and it is also given that acceleration of bob is 45 degree with the a string. So if you remember, basically this bob is moving in a circle. So if something moves in a circle, there are two component of acceleration. One component is along the radial direction, this is AR. Another component that is in this direction, so this is your radial direction and this is your tangential direction. So you have another component of acceleration that is in the tangential direction and one component is in the radial direction and this will be the, so you can have a resultant acceleration here. So this is your resultant acceleration. So question says, the acceleration of bob is at 45 degree with the string. So this angle is given. So this angle is how much? This angle is 45 degree. So basically we can write this is a t. So we can write here tan 45 degree is equals to a t by a r. And tan 45 is equals to 1. This means AT is equals to AR in this case. And you also remember that is radial direction acceleration is nothing but V square by R. And in this case let's say L is the length of this string that is given. So V square by L. What will be the tangential acceleration? Tangential acceleration is nothing but force in the tangential direction divided by mass force by mass. What is the force in the tangential direction? So if you see this bob, the force is acting on this edge in the downward direction is mz and the component of this in this direction will be mg sin theta because this angle is theta. So this angle is also theta. So in this direction this force will be mg sin theta. So the force is mg sin theta divided by m. So this is acceleration in the tangential direction is g sin theta. So now I have given enough hint for this problem. Let us use whatever we have here and you can use energy conservation and solve for the theta. Okay, so let us solve this problem now. So what we have, we have AT is equals to AR as we said this in this case radial and tangential direction is equal. So AR is equals to AT and AR is nothing but V square by L and AT is nothing but G sin theta. So from here I can write V square is equals to ZL sin theta. But I don't know the V square. So what I will do is I will use energy conservation. So let us say this length will be how much? This total length is L. This length is given. This length is L. And this length will be nothing but L cos theta. So this length is L cos theta. So this length is how much? 
this length is l minus l cos theta so this length is l minus l cos theta so what is the gain in potential energy so gain in potential energy is m times z times h and h in this case is nothing but this is my h and h is nothing but so let's say mgh which is equals to mz l minus l cos theta so this is a gain in potential energy and this is equals to loss in kinetic energy so how much is the loss what was the initial kinetic energy half m v naught square that is the velocity at this point minus half m v square that is the velocity at this point is v so we can write mzl 1 minus cos theta is equals to half m v naught square is simply 3zl minus half m v square so m cancels out and then from here you can write v square v square is equals to so this will be you will have 3 by uh, 3 zl so this term will be there and then this will go this side so this will be 2 zl 1 minus cos theta so this will be zl plus 2 zl cos theta 2 zl cos theta or we can write zl 1 plus 2 cos theta so v square is this value that is zl 1 uh, 2 uh, this term that is zl 1 plus 2 cos theta but we have already calculated this v square that is zl sin theta this means these two terms has to be equal so what we can do is we can write so let's call this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 so if you create equation 1 and 2 so this is gl sin theta is equals to gl 1 plus 2 cos theta so from here you can write sin theta is equals to 1 plus 2 cos theta now how will you solve this so sin theta is equals to 1 plus 2 and cos theta is nothing but root of, root of 1 minus sin square theta so let's take this this side and a square both sides so we will have sin theta minus 1 whole square is equals to 4 into 1 minus sin square theta so if you can further rewrite so this will be sin square theta plus 1 minus 2 sin theta is equals to 4 minus 4 sin square theta so you will have 4 sin square theta plus sin square theta so this will become 5 sin square theta so this term and this term minus 2 sin theta minus 5 is equals to 0 so sin theta you can solve for sin theta is equals to minus b that is 2 plus minus b square minus 4 is c so this will be 3 basically so 4 minus 4 plus 1 is 3 so minus b plus minus b square minus 4 is c so minus minus plus so 4 times 5 times 3 divided by 2 times 5 so this will be plus 2 plus minus 64 divided by 10 so you will have two root one root will be plus 2 plus minus 8 divided by 10 so the positive root will be 10 by 10 and the negative root will be minus 6 by 10 so theta negative is not possible because this has a physical meaning and we have taken the theta so this is not a possible root so this is only possible solution so what we will have in this case sin theta is equals to 1 this means theta is equals to pi by 2 so the bob will rise 
to the horizontal that is an angle that is made from the vertical to the a string and this angle will be pi by 2. Now question for you what will happen if I give a velocity that is less than under root 3 gl. So initially it was given under square root of 3 gl. Now if I give a velocity so what will happen to the bob if applied v0 is less than under root 3 gl and in the second situation what will happen if the applied velocity is greater than 3 gl. So let us discuss both this problem in the comment box and I will see you in the next video. I hope you like this video. If you like please share and subscribe to the my channel and uh, uh, I will post more video in the coming days. Thank you so much.